This is the first conversation of 2021, guys, and it's also the 25th of the Dr. Bhatisi show. A very good afternoon, ma'am. How are you? Happy New Year and heartiest congratulations on being the new mom. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot, and I wish you uh, also the same. Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Uh, so, guys, uh, Dr. Shruti Kasturi is a BDS from uh, Cheti Nar Dental College. Ma'am, am I pronouncing the name right? Yeah, uh, I am a graduate from Cheti Nar Dental College. Yeah, Chennai. And now yes. sh- uh, she is. I mean, uh, she went to Germany like three years back, and currently a practicing dentist there. But if I am not wrong, currently you are in India, right, for the yes. short uh, leave. Yeah, that's something called the uh, elder side. Like when okay. becoming a new parent, you are uh, entitled for months of uh, leave. Okay, okay, ma'am. Which state you are residing currently? I uh, actually live in a state called Baden-Württemberg. Okay. Um. So um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, uh, ma'am. You are which batch of BDS admission? I uh, belong to the 2011-2016 batch. Okay, you are uh, one year senior to me. Uh, yeah. 2011-16. Okay. So, ma'am, many people requested for this video on how to exactly go from India to Germany. So, um, what is the step-by-step guide you would tell us after we graduate? So, what all things we need? What all things we need to do? Uh, yeah, actually, the process is what I'm going to explain right now to your followers. Actually, uh, yes, so please. Yeah, I I would uh, start from the beginning, the very beginning, so that it is little um, understandable for everybody. Yeah, sure. So uh, first of all, uh, as uh, Doctor Atisi told, I um, graduated here in India, and I was married, and then with the uh, spouse visa, I went to Germany. So basically, okay. visa was not uh, uh, my uh, problem, I should say. So I didn't have right. to apply for the visa, and for those who wanted to come to Germany with another valid, without a valid visa, say you are not married and you want to go alone, that is something different which we have to handle, which we will handle in the later parts. Okay, so with a valid visa, I went to Germany. Right. And for pra- the process, the practice in Germany is quite simple. Right now, it is like uh, just remember three steps. First is know your language. Okay, the German language. Yeah, German language is is something mandatory. You cannot even uh, think of skipping it. Okay. Whatever the profession is, uh, how better you speak German, the more you have the chance of getting a good job with a decent salary. And for dentists, okay, for right. any medical professional, for that matter, you have to have a very very good level of German. Okay. It is not right. that you have only the certificate, but you have to be able to speak a very decent level uh, in German. So the people understand. Right. You are able to ask ask questions, and you are able to answer them. That is very important. True. So that, okay. That first first process. The first process, even before you think of going to uh, Germany, the first thing is you have to start learning the yeah. language. Right. Okay. And after which you'll have to give two exams. Okay. And then you can start practicing uh, in uh, Germany as a dentist. All right. So uh, I should say I've written few points here so that I don't miss things up. So yeah, yeah, is, yeah. And the language, the levels, I cannot tell you because there are. Uh, about sixteen states, I guess, in Germany, and each state has its own uh, language level. Okay. This is something uh, uh, depending of depends upon this uh, language level totally depends on which state you are applying to. Okay, it ma'am, is, is there any basic 
is there any basic uh, that this level must be attained by every state like b1 b2. a1 a2 yeah. b1 b2, b2 c1 b2 b2 b2, b2. b2 is a must um, most okay. states accept b2, b2 is but there yeah. are certain states which asks for c1 okay so means we can take that b2 is the minimum that you should know no matter yes. which state you are applying yes. yes yes okay Although I'm not hundred percent sure for all the states, I am damn sure that it requires at least B two. Okay, okay, sure. I'm not sure with what state has what level, uh, because there are quite a lot of states, and I I didn't uh, have enough potential of looking through all the states' uh, dental chamber. But right, uh, right. That's how it is. Ma'am, in your state, what is needed? Where do you um, where you live? I live in a state called Bad Mottenberg, and uh, in my state, it, okay. uh, the language requirement was B two. Okay, right. So after this B two of normal German, or I should say general German, you will have to do right. something called the first exam is called the Fachsprachenprüfung or the Fachsprache. Fachsprache means subject specific um, language. Okay, uh, ma'am. I think it's FSP exam. Exactly, it's FSP. Okay. That is okay. called the Fachsprachprüfung or FSP. Okay. So uh, for FSP, what we'll have to do is once you have are done with the uh, language level that your state in which you are applying to asked for. Yes. The second yeah. process is going to be applying to the Arzta Kama or the council, the dental council. To enroll yourself okay. for the fast track proofing. Okay, right. So for the fast track proofing, you have to, uh, you are uh, entitled to have the knowledge of German uh, in dentistry, or I should say, subject specific or dentistry specific German. You must be able to speak uh, all the dental terms and stuffs like that. Uh, I should say uh, okay. you have to just uh, learn to uh, take a uh, take up a case in German and write a case history. Right, converse with the patient. Yeah, it is uh, something similar to what you do in your uh, um, oral medicine exam. Right, exactly right. To to be told your oral medicine practical exam. That's what you do. Yeah, yeah. But all that you are going to do it in German. Right. Uh, that, but there's, okay. no, there's not going to be any real patient here, actually, in the FSP. Yeah. But uh, you'll have to take up that exam as the first part. FSP is going to be a first part. Right. And uh, after okay. after passing in this, and after passing Parkspark proofing, you'll be entitled to the level C one German. Okay. Right. Because it's a uh, subject specific C one. It is not general C one. You are uh, entitled the C one in your uh, department, or I should say, in uh, our department dentistry. Okay. So that is how that is what the process is, and uh, the second uh, exam or proofing, as you call in German, is going to be the Kentness proofing, or Gleichwertigkeit okay. proofing, which means Kentness is not nothing but knowledge. Proofing is exam. So okay. Exam or Gleich Fertigkeit means. Ah, uh, ma'am, it's a uh, KP test. Exactly. KP is proofing. K for tenseness. Proofing P. It's actually a little different from uh, what you have been hearing for the other countries because they all speak English, and uh, this is really confusing because hearing German words for the first time is going to not going to be easy for anybody for that matter. Right. So KP is something uh, I should say a question or something shortened form for Kentness proof. Right. And uh, okay. Proofing or it's also called as uh, Gleichfertigkeit or equivalence equivalence exam. Right. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, ma'am. So what is like the fee structure and any books we have to refer for all these exams? uh i cannot actually speak about the fee structure because it uh, totally depends on what as i said totally depends on what uh, uh, state you apply to 
and stuff like that okay yes, because if you have a lot of uh, uh, institutions that coach for fsp that coach for kp and uh, it depends whether you are an eu uh, citizenship holder if you are not from eu or you from from ausland or you are a foreigner or something like that or uh, okay there, there are certain um, doctors who are like uh, if you uh, if you are known to certain doctors and they are able to hire you there are also options that some of the practices or clinics pay for you to write the check okay again as i said right. it all totally depends on how much time you're already in germany uh, how much contact you have in germany and how much you're able to um, converse in german because the more you are able to uh, speak the more you are able to get from germany is what i think right so ma'am how do we get the license to practice there uh, the license is as simple as what i told now first clear the language right. then fsp then kp once it's done the license uh, certificate comes to your house in mail i mean uh, by post okay right and ma'am how many attempts are there to these exams are there specific number of attempts that we can make yes, yes. for fsp it is going to be uh, n number of times you can write it as long as you want but for kp okay. it is going to be just two attempts okay all right and that is not going right. to be single test as you uh, um give it i'm i'm not sure how it is there in other countries but as far as germany is concerned you have uh, three parts for each exam okay and uh, you'll be you'll have to train yourself for that okay and for all the three parts it's different one may might be clinical other might be theoretical like that um i should say it is the first exam is going to test you more on your uh, german language not more on your okay. uh, dental um, knowledge more of uh, how better you can converse with the patient when there's no german nearby you put into situations okay. of handling patients uh and and how you handle patients when there's no one who speaks german nearby so that's how you're you're going right. to test it for the first first exam fsp Part, and you yeah. have uh, three parts one is going to be at the theory um what you called schriftliche prüfung the second one okay. is going to be mundlich or uh, oral okay and third one is going to be a case presentation study or a case okay it is it is not about um, how you are going to um continue the case it is about how you are going to explain your your right. knowledge is not going to be tested for example if uh, the answer was an rct and you tell uh, it's an or it's going to be a normal filling uh, you're not going to be failed for that but you should be able okay. to converse better and prove that you wanted to do only a filling there i hope it's right, clear to be right. but you shouldn't yeah, make yeah. a blunder again as i said you shouldn't make yeah. a blunder because it totally depends upon who is who is the examiner and stuffs like that okay right so ma'am is there any experience that we require after bds from india that would be counted there no actually uh, maybe it is a little bit uh, saddening for people who have completed mbbs and stuff like that because you are not entitled with any special uh, privilege when you are uh, done with your masters or something like that you have to start from the scratch but one good thing is right. when you're done with masters in certain subjects or your specialized specialization is in uh, say for example prosto or endo there is a chance that uh, you have endo specific or uh, prosto specific or perio specific questions in your kentness proof form so for bds mds otherwise everything remains the same yes everything remains the same or uh, ma'am it's like many people tend to you know get the clinic uh, uh, experience certificate or something like that so do we need that experience also from the clinics like we have done something here it is always good to have one actually it is good to have one but that okay. is not going to add on any privilege or uh, something like that maybe that is good when okay. you start applying for jobs telling that oh yeah see i work i have already worked in india i have already done so and so cases i am a specialist there something like that right okay uh, so ma'am what is yeah yeah please go ahead no, no i'm sorry i was not able to hear you okay yeah yeah 
so ma'am what is the scope and job opportunities like what do we do after we get the license maybe courses pg mds other options what would be your take on that uh, again uh, courses pg uh, i should say in uh, germany you don't have something called only masters as what you have in india i hope here also you have okay. some uh, diploma kind of courses for dentists right yeah 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 we same have is, yeah same is also available there in uh, germany which most people okay. take because come on uh, learning a master course for 2 to 3 years is uh, time consuming right so most most people uh, tend to do diploma in certain certain uh, uh, department or certain uh, point of focus is what they actually do. okay so it is like you have two options right. you can go for masters or go for some, okay a certified specialist okay so um, uh, masters as you know it is something similar to what you do it in india and uh, um, the thing is once you are done with your masters you are entitled with an msc degree right masters okay and when you are uh, done with this certified specialist you have something called a specialist society in every dental um, chamber for every state okay and okay. this uh, specialist society accredits the uh, certified specialist degree for every state okay and they do something what is called as main focus of activity so what they are uh, what you are capable of doing is for example you can take two two or three specialties depending upon the state you live in for example i live in baden wurttemberg and i can take okay. three specialties uh, like i can take a part in perio i can take in plantology i can take uh, prospo and i can do okay. a certified specialist there okay right and i can do uh, i can do all the three in my clinic you have but you will have to report your dental uh, uh, chamber or the chamber of the state for dental affairs that i am so and so i work in so and so clinic and i am entitled to do all the three that is very important Everything right so ma'am are there on the papers there that is very important because yeah nothing you can do off paper right so ma'am are there any government jobs also there like we have in india no actually uh in i don't i don't think there's something so special about uh, having a job in government in germany because uh, okay there's, there's there's nothing special about it there's, there's and we can apply uh, things given to a government right. servant than to a normal practicing dentist okay ma'am can we apply to hospitals there as a dentist yes you can apply but the chance of you getting into a hospital is i sh- i shouldn't actually be a little discouraging but it is really very less because um, as a hospital is concerned as as in generally called as a kranken house in germany okay so in a kranken house what actually happens is you have uh, a lo- lot of uh, other departments which are actually little given more importance than a dentist dental department and oral right. department what i have seen in hospitals is this oral and maxillofacial surgery and for which you right. also read a little bit of human medicine in germany yeah yeah not okay only, uh, omfs like how you do it in india right you ma'am if we want to do place. mds md right if we want to do mds like uh, masters again in dentistry is called mds there or it's just like a post graduation thing msc right what you have said so it it's like for how many years two two years again one thing okay. here is it is not limited see for example when a student here enrolls uh, bds in 2011 he, he or she right. is entitled as 2011 to 16 batch right okay it depends you can take uh, like say 3 years or uh, 4 years extra to do uh, the course and there's something called dissertation on stuff here when you do complete your degree okay which we do not do in india okay in india. so right that is what uh, is being uh, tested or or, or, or should say if we are really that talented enough to join the school of dentists here in germany <laughs> 
okay so ma'am like what all diploma courses are there uh, if you could name few yeah i have actually noted down so that i can uh, tell you guys what is there see there's lot of uh, diploma yeah please which are uh, actually there uh, in germany and this also totally depends upon the state you apply and how much uh, diplomas you can do to practice in that state i hope i'm okay let it clear so the list is uh, okay. that you can do um, in aesthetic dentistry you can even do acupuncture there actually as a dentist okay but, but you have to wow. uh, learn for that and uh, there's also like uh, aesthetic uh, how to endo aesthetic endodontics aesthetic uh, okay. dentistry aesthetic profile access uh, then aesthetic pro okay then total uh, Uh, general dentist three also is there, a specialist form of diploma. Okay. Diploma is there. Um, more only for am- amalgam. There's a diploma, and oh my God, there's lots. Okay. Narco narco is there is nothing but um, anesthesia. Full narco. Yeah. Full ana. I mean general anesthesia. And uh, sedium is also anesthesia. Okay. For every uh, thing, what you do here in India, there's something called a diploma, and For example, you have in bleaching, and you have cat right. restoration, and yeah. also one um, specific department which is uh, for uh, behind lung behind lung is treatment behind lung the behind the tin that means behind the tin are uh, some what do you call uh, patients with impairment. Okay, okay. So you right. can do diploma in that, yeah. Okay, so ma'am. Um, what was my question yeah uh, like uh, i really wanted to keep this question to the last but uh, like what is the salary of a practicing dentist there the basic uh, again as i said it totally depends on what state you practice on the practice. state you are yeah, right totally depends it is it is exactly like in india when you practice in somewhere in delhi and when you practice somewhere in the outskirts of uh, smaller yeah town, it's it's like it's, Uh, yeah it right it's exactly similar uh, to uh, the situation here in india but one thing is you don't have a drastic difference like in india okay there are also people who are earning 6000 10000 when you work for a clinic and there are also doctors who right. earn lakhs in india but yeah. again uh, there's not so much of a difference but uh, the average salary is equivalent to any engineer who earn has his master degree I should say okay you, it it is uh, uh, definitely good it's definitely not bad it's definitely right. good but again uh, you opt for germany only when um, when you see it as a long term career it is not like go there right. again, become rich come down again no that's not the place okay and because first thing the language is such a thing there it's given so importance that even if we plan and we invest a lot of time and money there we should not you know come back to india again but that was my next question can we do that like if we practice there learn diplomas do there and come back after few years yeah you see there's always a, there's always a option Uh, I sh- I should say, I will okay. if you ask me I will tell when there's a will there's always a way yeah so wherever you are you can uh, actually outshine but one thing is when you are really uh, having an idea of settling there in Germany this is a great option and when you start your okay. clinic in Germany you are going to really earn a lot right uh, again working under somebody see when you uh, see it as a short term goal or i can say maybe a 5 or 10 year plan that you're going to stay in germany right there and then return i would not ask you to go inside um, uh, starting up a clinic or something like that but um yeah you feel that you're going to settle down there and this is going to be right place, uh, then i think owning your own clinic is going to make a s- lot of difference in your career okay That and ma'am what about really courses good. right yeah. ma'am what about courses like mph or mh there you have all these courses actually mph is there in a uh, university of hamburg i guess that's called ha okay ha hamburg you have a course there okay but, um, and uh, m 
H A I think it's there in uh, Munich, L M U Munich. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, ma'am, is there any scope for these? Actually, ma'am, if we do not want to go to Germany for settling, if suppose I just want to do a course there and come back, so what is uh, like I can come on a student visa, or I have to follow the protocols what the university asks for? So actually, uh, coming to Germany without, uh, like, say, my in my case, I came to Germany with my husband. When you yeah. are wanting to come there, when you apply to universities, you will be automatically given a visa called a student visa, or you can also okay. come in a visa called language visa. Because when you want to become a dentist, right. you are uh, it or naturally means that you are going to come here study in Germany in German. There's no right. such offers it in English. uh there okay are called international things okay some international schools say for example you are a leading doctor in india you are uh, into like a lot of lasers and stuffs but you want to just right. get a degree or a title um from yeah. the best universities rwth aachen yeah that, that's one university here in germany it's a very good university okay uh, right rwth rwth is the name of the university in germany Uh, Aachen okay is, is the place where the university is situated and they have something called a lasers in dentistry or something like that say for example you are a, a established practicing dentist in india and want to come there and just take up the course it is there in english it is available But okay you are having an idea of settling down in germany as a dentist come on first option is the language right right so ma'am if i want to come there and do a diploma suppose in endo for example and if i jo- and if a mm-hmm. like dentist is conducting there and if i join that course so that will be happening in german only or english most courses i i cannot promise you come on all the diploma yeah, yeah. German, but i should say 95% of all the courses are going to be only in german only when they say that international okay. students preferences are available it means it is in english Right, right. Okay. You, you have to breathe German when you live in Germany. <laughs> Ma'am, actually, I had um I, an option in my like I was in sixth, seventh, or eighth in my school, and we had an option of Urdu. We taught Urdu, we taught Sanskrit, and there was Germany also, and it was the first batch who was undergoing that. So I learned German, but it was just one word I remember now, and it's it's like I guess chocolate, which is called chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. Shukrala, yeah. So that yeah. is, uh, yeah. Oh, And ma'am, like, what do you remember? Uh, <laughs> seventh standard is something really good, yeah. Uh, so, ma'am, what do you um, like? Any suggestions, tips you have from your experience, which saves the students time and money? Uh, like anything you want to say about the exam, how to prepare, or how to apply to the clinic or set up? Yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, I have also I should also uh, mention something. What I've been doing here, uh, there's there's been a lot of requests from the, a lot of people. um from yeah. india asking me how to do this process so i've started up uh, having a live uh, session or one on one session to people so that i can help them personally and uh, as few right. of the people know that i actually have a 3 month old kid with me i am unable to yeah. take a longer time and concentrate on stuff so i thought i can do that when i'm here also It's, that's not going to be a very uh, big issue i can adjust and right. reduce accordingly so i i planned in of doing what is a uh, career thing how to apply and what is the language you have to learn and stuff like that i, I also have um started that and i'm giving that in my uh, instagram account so that they can also right so we can dm people. you for the link right yes yes please you can always dm me for the link and i can uh, give you uh, everything like what to apply how to apply and all your career guidance is not only uh, how to become a dentist i can also i also have uh, Uh, a special thing like how to be not only become a dentist right there's also other options for dentistry yeah. here in germany with a little right. bit of knowledge of german come on that i will never right. anybody coming to germany without knowing german that is something what you are going to breathe here and after learning a bit of language and you are ready for the next step i can i also um, help them by telling the other uh, possibilities what they have Because there are a lot of people right. who are not actually so much into this clinical practice. 
so i thought I yeah so ma'am them. like just to name a few what are the options for that like and do we have forensics also there yes 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 but again as i told you when you want to work something with the government something forensics or something yeah. you actually go and work for the government or some stuff yeah. like that some uh, um, most things that you work with the government is something uh, purely in german yeah right Uh, and one thing is because of the bureaucracy what you have in germany you have to have everything on papers so there's nothing like you do right it on, uh, mails and nothing like you do it on apps and phones and stuff like that although it's a high, developed country with a super economy um, economy still it uh, does everything on paper right so, so ma'am uh, what are the other like possibilities just to name a few Uh, just to name a few, I can say what is the role of MPH, as uh, you told, and other options like how to go into industry. Having studied, right, is what I've been working on right now. I've been asking a few people, and uh, with the courses, uh, how to attend the courses for uh, the FSP exam, how to give the FSP exam, how to train for FSP exam, and what the book is yeah. required is what I'm planning for to make it in this part of the total outlook from the start to. and uh, maybe later on they can ask another for 15 20 minutes they can ask me all the questions they wanted to yeah ma'am we have uh, three questions right now the first is uh, hello ma'am my sister has just completed bds with 68% and want to come to germany and she has applied for msc in tu and shirait university need your opinion yes but uh, uh, i'm not able to see what is the course she's applied to yeah she has applied for msc in tu msc like uh, you need a specific thing like msc in what okay msc in what yes msc is the degree in tu means it is a yeah. technical university okay and shirait university uh, and shirait university shirait university is in berlin right and tu is also right. uh, see there are nine tus in germany all over germany and one tu is in berlin and without knowing what the course is i am sorry I yeah so opinion. please we um, navjot i think please let us know what is the course um we have another question ma'am does it need to be the same state where we do the hospitalization c1 language course and where we apply for the fsp exam uh, i would say in as far as my state is concerned say baden wurtemberg is concerned It is always good when you have your hospitalization in Baden-Württemberg and do FSP in the same state. Come on, because when you do it in a, another state, for example, if you do FSP in one state and go for go on with another state, you will have to do all the paperwork again. And paperworks are not easy. If at all uh, you know uh, you have applied for FSP once, you have to do all the paperwork once again, and it is going to take another three to six months, which I would say it is not good waiting for. <laughs> okay. and uh, ma'am the question we asked above it's msc in health prevention and health promotion in munich and international health in chirait okay international health program is uh, is what i've also seen in uh, chirait university in berlin and msc health prevention as uh, uh, health prevention and health promotion in munich promotion yeah in munich um both courses are actually very good and one is uh, i should tell you something whatever courses that are available in that website daad deutsche uh, academic something i'm not sure whether okay <laughs> daad okay. is the website and when you see those courses there it means these courses are uh, given by um the government this is uh, these are uh, courses that are affiliated okay. or attested by the government itself so it is something not really bad Again, once you have right. the course, remember, please, please remember, be it engineering, be it dentistry, or be it whatever. Because I have uh, my husband who's doing, who has done engineering here. So whatever it okay. is, whatever the field it is, always remember, German is what you have to breathe in to have a very good mm. career here. You can have a career. Anybody can have a career here, but don't you have to have that uh, respectful and. Uh, What do you say? You have to climb the ladder in the, your career. It is always good to have a very decent German. Right, ma'am. Next question is: What is the scope of MHA, MPH? Do the hospitals over there allow the international students to work over there? Yes, 
but again as i said when you want to work in hospitals it is it is exactly yeah. like uh, uh, not knowing tamil in tamil nadu or something like uh, yeah tamil. yeah it right is like that. you you are allowed to work anywhere and everywhere the only thing is all they expect you is uh, because nobody speaks english as such in right the, yes, exactly then, yes because it is an expat oriented place um expats there are a lot of expats and uh, also in, uh, mostly in all the capitals of all states like stuttgart or munchen or say, munich you have a lot of expats and a lot of people speak english but again you will not be <laughs> able to you will not be able to find a job or you will not be able to get a job in germany without german especially into health sector right maybe in uh, ma'am what is yeah in it somewhere it's possible but as you have said i know uh, like uh, if you want to succeed or make a career totally into it german is the first priority they have yes, yes. Uh, ma'am next question is what is the best state to apply for fsp as i heard the level of difficulty in clearing fsp varies with state yes uh, i sh- i should say there's a uh, uh, a notion that bayern seems to be the easiest state but i have applied in baden wurtenberg i wrote it in if my fsp in baden wurtenberg and i find it really easy i find i found it really easy in baden wurtenberg i wouldn't say it was really tough okay um, there are states like nida saxon or um, saxon anhalt where people say it is a little bit tough again and in our way this also not during the spell it's also a little um i think tough and come on okay it, it is i should say a day's job you never know you can never tell that uh, for everybody it is going to be tough or it is ever, for everybody it's going to be easy totally yeah tough. right ma'am are international students allowed to apply for daad scholarship that scholarship yes you are able to apply you are allowed to apply okay and there is a lot of people who apply <laughs> what is that uh, uh, scholarship ma'am there is a little request that can you talk a little in german yes you I'm can but i is kar auf deutsch sprechen and was möchtest du das ich auf deutsch sprechen muss or das ich auf deutsch sprechen soll Okay. Mom, what what does that mean? Uh I've asked uh, yeah, I cannot speak in German and what do you want me to speak in German? <laughs> okay. So mom, what were your plans? I think you were uh, looking for a masters you wanted to do maybe this year or next year? Yeah, actually I had my baby 3 months back so I cannot uh, start doing my masters right now yeah I of course in a clinic in a pediatric clinic and uh, there's some thing called like you have to extend your contract for another 2 years or more and uh, they are they are going to fund me my pediatric course there right so okay that's what my plans are once i am done with uh, this intern site i think i'm going to do that okay so ma'am what is like how uh, like india we know that how india is the atmosphere the climate the weather the how the people are how is germany the plus and minus both yeah you have again i should say uh, i live in south western part of germany which yeah. is going to be different from what you experience in berlin or hamburg i've heard people uh, telling that it is really cold in winters here also it's really right. cold it is not going to be so cold but uh, um i should say the more the west the more you stay in the west it is going to be more socializing most of east german is uh, not okay. so in socializing okay yeah so that is and, i think is very yeah. important as an expat you should know and i would say um you are always allowed to uh, go and work in any nook and corner in the country there's nothing like you have to work only here or there you can easily find uh, Mm, your jobs or the hospitations or stuff, stuff like that in the kreis kreis is something like outskirts right okay so you can find your jobs there um, start practicing a lot of german uh, talk and communicate more in german so that, and always keep in touch with your german that is all very important when you aim for uh, germany 
Okay. So ma'am, uh, while we gather the documents from India, I guess there is some application that we have to write completely in Germany and we have uh, to get a police verification yeah. also. Actually, I don't uh, think we have to write something in Germany, but it is going to be like you have to get a good conduct certificate. I have just added some five, six and... Uh, Uh, when you have a one-on-one -on -one session with me, if you want to have, I can uh, and you tell me yeah. the date. I can even give you um, the basics, what you are going to apply, how you have to apply, and all that. I'm going to tell you there. And basic things are right. here. The basic is going to be a good conduct certificate from your okay. college and policy right. soidness. That is what it is called. A policy certificate, okay. a police certificate, saying that there's a uh, okay. problem with you living in Germany there, and also yeah. living in India. Um, when you're applying, you have to get it from here. Then course completion certificate from your university, your degree certificate, your transcripts, and everything must be um, translated into German, and with a uh, right. with a what do you call it? Uh, someone who is translator green, yeah translator and with a uh, some green seal. yeah yeah i am not sure of what they call here i okay a lot of english right now it's <laughs> a uh, translator okay who is able to give you a who is like a verified and yeah uh, verified exactly verified is yeah verified <laughs> okay and uh, ma'am how should we apply for the goat Institute, go to go to go to yeah. Good, and the question is really not uh, so clear because go to institute is a college, is a university in Frankfurt, and institute I guess okay. talking about a German institute that's there all over India, and I'm actually okay. really sorry for telling I don't have any ideas of how you have to apply for the go to institute in India. It is because uh, I've not studied any of my German here in India. I did from my A one till. Uh, C1 in Germany. I never studied any German in India. Okay, uh, ma'am. The MSc course I have mentioned are tuition free and English taught. And how DAAD scholarship can be helpful? If uh, the courses what you mentioned has no tuition fee, there's a lot of courses fee, in Germany right. has no tuition fee. Lot of courses. Okay. And when you have a uh, course like that and still apply for a DAD scholarship, your uh, uh, transportation in your expenses for living there is going to be covered. Okay. Wow. And uh, you have to present your case properly. Uh, I am not sure of how you have to apply for the scholarship because I have not applied for one. Maybe I should tell. Uh, there's uh, right. everything is always given in very detailed form of how you have to start applying for a scholarship. What are the steps and so something like that. to do it properly okay hope it clicks okay um, ma'am can we apply for any short term job before going for masters yeah short term job uh, as a dentist so actually uh, i should say you cannot start working there as a dentist as such you have to get this what okay get a license what is called as berufs erlaubnis or temporary um, uh, license to practice in germany That's right and we can get step. that after the yeah after the FSP three steps i guess no no yeah. after the fsp exam you are allowed to work start working in germany and you are okay. called yeah. work, you are going to work as something called assistants you are not going to be a full time okay. but an assistant work it is something like an internship what do you do in internship you do all cases but you have a doctor to supervise you right 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 exactly you have you, you are allowed to do the same there in uh, germany also and you could be paid for that Okay, and ma'am, till what time we have to do that until become a like a doc who can handle independently? See, a uh, FSP exam. Uh, there are states that actually grant this kind of berufs allowance six months before you start writing. Uh, you write your FSP. There are also states that grant this kind of berufs allowance only after you finish FSP. So again, this okay. is the state. But once you have this berufs allowance, it is valid for two years. And within this two years, you have to give your KP or Kentness proofing and start practicing as an independent doctor. Right. And ma'am, like there are so many different states for different protocols they have. So how can we know which state has what? Okay. For that, you have to go to the uh, website of the dental council. We call it as Landes Zahn Arzt Kama. Okay. Okay. Or Zahn Arzt Kama. That's uh, Zan Zan Arts means dentist. Okay.
ਓਕੇ ਆ ਮਮ ਡਸ ਦੇ ਪੇ ਯਾ ਯਾ ਡੂ ਦੇ ਪੇ ਫੋਰ ਦੇ ਹਸਪੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਕਲੀਅਰਿੰਗ ਐਫ ਐਸ ਪੀ ਯਸ ਦੇ ਯਾ ਦੇ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਫੋਰ ਹਸਪੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਕਾਲਡ ਐਸ ਅਸਿਸਟੈਂਟ ਸਾਈਟ ਦੇ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਪੇਡ i worked and they paid yes they paid but again and ma'am what are the timing uh, i'm sorry to yeah uh, actually that also depends on no 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 ma'am please just work okay uh, i cannot guarantee and there's no such thing called you should be paid for hospitation again it totally depends on your luck on what hospital you choose how good your boss is um yeah something like that there's no there's nothing uh, like you have to be paid and ma'am what are the timings of the clinics there 8 hours so i should okay. say it totally depends on the person who's ha- having the clinic okay because the clinic. i work for yeah i work for a pediatric dentist there and uh, monday mornings are usually free because most kids are in their schools so monday is yeah. usually free so it is not like uh, it is going to be a 30 for me it is going to be a 35 um uh, hours a week totally 35 to 38 okay. hours a week uh, and max is going to be 38 only when there is so much cases and the maximum you can work for a week is going to be 40 5 days right a day and uh, i and i guess most cases will have 35 36 hours uh, week and uh, saturday it's like off there yes, saturday is off saturday is off <laughs> okay and mom did you uh, notice any difference in dentistry of course you might have dentistry in india and dentistry in germany you have all high end instruments you are you are uh, yeah. um, you don't have to always uh, use the old techniques and stuff like that uh, i think right. i've start start i've not uh, been mixing this uh, cement and alginate like that yeah alginate yeah. is also not there because you have everything it cat cam and you can always do that uh, yeah make models with your that scan okay. so it's actually little i should say it is little easier and you always have an assistant yeah. or two always with you to mix cement mm-hmm. for suction and stuff like that. okay uh, do we need right ma'am because we can see that you are so much focused there that you are really passionate about there and dentistry in germany um, kind of because <laughs> first i started to know the process of the there is no life in the end of the process. i don't have any uh, particular right. uh, person to help me out there when i started it was around three and a half years back there was no proper channel or no proper uh, person who help uh, guided people so yeah. i don't know how difficult it is staying in india not knowing the opportunities what you have not knowing how you are, what you deserve after a five year long struggle right. here in india i feel it really bad so i think it will put lot of uh, into the crowd yet oh wait no sorry okay um Ma'am, uh, do we need to have a strong resume or CV to apply for that internship or an, as an assistant doctor? Uh, no, I never had a strong resume or something like that. Because I completed my BBAs, I worked for a year in India totally. And then when I moved to Germany, I just showed what I had. Um, again, I tell you, the, the most, I, I have to stress it a lot of times, time and, uh, in again, and again. The more the German you speak, the more... The chance and the ability of going to hire to be an assistant dentist once you are into a practice okay. and start working as a dentist they know your skills they know how good you are and they are never going to let you go that is the that is the way you are going to join there that is the way you are going to start is there and for most doctors that go the case is probably there is something called hospitalization or something like that in clinics and but dentist that is not the uh, dentist is not uh, having a lot of um but you have to go apply for individual clinics who uh, like individual practices so when the doctor is really convinced with your uh, language level the way you communicate um the way you handle patients when he sees you handling them um and he's really impressed man you got it you're going to be there forever okay uh, ma'am there was one more question like time required for completing a1 to c1 level 
uh, this is not going to be like uh, a year i cannot say one this a1 is going to be 3 months a2 is going to be 3 months or something like that because totally depends the uh, the basic levels they are not going to give you on time basis when you are really really good in german and you are so interested you are you're learning it at a very high speed even you can do it in a month a1 right ma'am do we have number of attempts also uh, here no 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 no, no. See, these are conducted by okay. individual uh, sprachschule or what do you call it a language uh, schools so there's not right. to do with your normal german and uh, your uh, what is it limitations you're going to pay for it so okay. you can you can yeah. keep giving the exams as long as you can pay for it okay <laughs> right um mom i think you have covered everything and my questions are now also at the end um okay. so we can definitely if any more qu- queries we have we can dm you yes please you can always dm me for any queries i am there to help ready to help always okay thank you so much ma'am you are a working mother as a new mother so thank you so much for sparing the time it was a lovely session we had thank you so much thank you so much for uh, giving me this opportunity and you are one good blogger of what i should say <laughs> Thank- and ma'am i would uh, hap- i'm really happy to share that this is my 25th uh, conversation we are having so it's a special one oh super and uh, wishing you many more to come yeah thank you so much ma'am and all thank you so much people who want to come to germany <laughs> hi future colleagues yes a big hi and uh, you always uh, welcome to message me or dm me privately to know how it works okay thank you so much ma'am please take the best care of yourself yeah thank, thank you, so you. and happy and healthy life ahead bye thank you ma'am bye